How's it going? It's Jeff from jeffrey-thomas.com and let's take a look at the police message in a bottle for the ukulele. Um, so print this out off my website so we can get some work done. Um, I have a low G on my ukulele. First thing to point out and second thing to point out is the fingers here. Thumb is P, first finger is I, middle finger is M, and your ring finger is A. So I've written a bunch of the details on exactly what finger to use and I'm sure I'll explain it to you as well. So getting started here with D add 9, we've got and then to B flat add 9, C add 9, and then G minor 9. So the D add 9, P, I, M, B flat add 9, P, I, M, C add 9, P, I, M, and the G minor 9, P, I, A, M, a little different there. Okay, there's your intro verse. Now when it hits the chorus at 33 seconds on the tune, you're going to jump in on a B-flat chord. And I'm using all downstrokes to kind of get the feel of the guitar playing on the recording. So, chorus, ready, go. E-flat over B-flat, up to F over C. Back to B flat. Okay, that's those two measures repeated. Then you go to G minor. E flat over B flat, but a different voicing of it, so check up on the chord sheet. Okay, that was ending one. Now we go back to G minor. Back to G minor. Now we're going to ending three, same E flat over B flat. And there's the difference between endings one and two and ending three. Ending three is just one and two and three and four which is kind of cool because it gives you a second to get to the D minor over A, which is next, right? So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Message in the bottle. Okay, so let me run the whole chorus without me talking. Ready, go. If you want to keep it simple, just let that G minor 7 ring all the way over for two measures. Or what I do is hit the G minor 7 on 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and, and then I come up here and pop this uh, other voicing of G minor 9. So it would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, 3, 4, and then right back into the intro verse, right? Um, I'm finishing up with 
some guitar solo licks for you, which happen at around 3.36 on the recording. And um, it's starting here at the 10th fret. We have a grace note slide to 12, from 10 to 12. So grace note, let me explain that, is a smaller note. It's like an eighth note looking thing, but it has a dash through it. And it means that you're instantly sliding from 10 to 12. And let me finish the rest of that phrase, so it would be... So... Okay, then he continues on. And that's pretty much the first bite of the guitar solo that Andy Summers takes on the track and um, you'll notice in the second phrase here it's a I'm sorry so those grace notes are going to be with the slide from seven to nine and then finishing with a hammer on from eight to ten so um, I should probably run that for you with the metronome uh, let me hit it at sixty for you so guitar solo ready go one. You can hear that the grace note is like right on, just instant. And that's a good explanation of a grace note. Um, finishing up, I wrote two D natural minor scales. So the first one is going to be starting here at the seventh fret. And these are cool if you want to jam it up a bit. If, you know, somebody else is playing the regular, you know, at the end, sending out an SOS, right? when the guitar solo comes in. You can use these scales to sort of come up with your own stuff. So uh, I start at 7th fret, first finger, and then it's going to be fingers 1, 2, and 3. Frets are going to be 7, 9, and 10. Moving over to the 3rd string, same thing. Okay. When we get to the 2nd string, we're going to jump up to the 8th fret. So the frets are going to be 8, 10, and 12, with fingers 1, 2, and 4. Same thing on the first string. 1, 2, 4. Okay, so I usually, if I'm playing fingerstyle, I'm going to be... alternating with I and M, right? Or if you're using a pick, then you don't have to mess with any of that. Um, but it's a cool skill to have, right? Usually a lot of scale, scale playing is going to be with alternating I and M. There's one other pattern, and then we can wrap it up for today. Uh, this one's back here, first position, okay? So third string, or fourth string open, then to the second fret, to the third fret, to the third string open, third string second fret, second string open, First fret, first finger, third fret, third finger, first string open, first finger, first fret, second finger, third fret, pinky at five, and then come back down. And you can see I've highlighted the D minor over A chord in side of the scale pattern. This is important if you want to go back and forth from you know rhythm playing to scale playing, um, which is you know you want to be able to do both, right? So anyway, I hope that was cool. And uh, I just want to mention that I'm teaching on Skype, Uvu, Yahoo Messenger, and Windows Live. So if you're interested in studying or going over stuff, don't hesitate to contact me. Just uh, get a message to me. Get a message to me in a bottle. There you go. And uh, we can hook up and maybe um, answer some questions that you might have or study. 
All right. I'll talk to you later.